it's Mrs Atkinson again. And a very, very scary monster wolf. Gosh, whenever he peeps up behind me, will you tell me, say, Mrs Atkinson, there's a monster wolf be behind you. We're going to read the story of where the wild things are. Is there one behind me? <laughs> Makes me shiver. All the learning this week is going to be around wild things and monsters and wolves and things like that. So where the wild things are. It's a story that you will know really well. Are you a friendly wild thing? Uh. Ah! You need to go to sleep. Put this down a minute. Right, we ready. Nearly ready. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. Chasing after the dog with a fork. <gasps> His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without anything to eat. They keep peeping up behind me, the wild thing. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh. Don't be scared, will you? And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Oh. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day. We're going to go sail away. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars. Rawr! Go on, have a go. Rawr! And gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes. And showed their terrible claws. <coughs> they look very terrifying. Till Max said, Be still. And tamed them with a magic trick. Of staring into... All their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. He's hypnotised them. Look, he's very calm. Shh. A 
and made him the king of all wild things. He's got a king's crown on, hasn't he? And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. I think they're going to have a bit of a dance and a sing-along. There they are. Are you going to have a dance and a sing-along, wild thing, Mr Wax, Mr Max? <laughs> Ooh, a bit of gymnastics in there as well. There they are. Yeah. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanting to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, mm, he smelled mm, good things to eat. So he gave up being a king of where the wild things are. I think he's missing his mummy and missing the food. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars. Go on, have a go. <laughs> and gnashed their terrible teeth. <laughs> and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. Wave goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. Can you see the supper on the table? What an adventure! And it was still hot. What a brilliant adventure Max has had. A forest grew in his bedroom. He sailed over the seas and met the wild things in their forest. Now all the lovely learning this week boys and girls is all about the wild things. I have uploaded some word hunts in the garden, monster word hunts. There are lots of lovely things to do drawing your wild thing. So have a look on the website and see if you can have a go at those things and make sure you send some to us so we can have a look. Okay, have a lovely week. Goodbye. Bye.